Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special report here, bringing you some WASD numbers from the crew at Farmers Trading Company. Overall, it looks like a pretty quiet report here, looking at how the markets reacted. Um, currently, the May corn is up three quarters of a penny at 4.38 and three quarters. The December new crop corn is up half a cent at 4.69 and a half. Uh, looking into the soybeans, the May soybeans are up four, four and three quarters of a penny at 11.71. And the November new crop beans are up 11 cents at 11.65. Um, some of the big numbers, I guess, that came out of this report was that overall, I guess, the U.S. or the world carryout numbers were right where they estimated them. They did lower them a little bit from a couple million metric tons each there from the last report. Looking at the uh, overall U.S. numbers here, the corn and the beans are right in line with where they estimated. It looks like they're they're pretty unchanged from last month. The wheat, they did raise the ending stocks on that because of some canceled sales is what I had heard. And uh Looking at Brazil, I guess they did lower the, the Brazilian carryout in both corn and beans, not quite as much as the trade had maybe estimated, but uh, still lowered them from last month. Looking at the numbers, I guess, going to Vince first, what what do you make of these numbers? What should a guy really key into or look at? You know, I think you just have to see how we close today, Connor. The, the numbers were nothing, as you noted. Um, good to see that we're not going lower. Looks like there's still some buying power there and have to assume it's some more short covering, but beans, there was absolutely no numbers that changed from the U.S. standpoint. Um, world carry out, as you noted, down 1.7 million metric tons. You looked at the corn, uh, U.S. carry out was actually unchanged. The trade was looking for that to drop 31 million, not a big thing. And then they dropped the price of nickel and the corn, but really a nothing report as you would expect for the March one or for the February one, excuse me, it is March, yes. And so looking at these numbers here, Andrew, is this going to be anything that, that could maybe shake up the funds a little bit and get them to start liquidating some of their short positions here? I know they've been net short pretty heavy in both the grains. Is that something that we should look forward to seeing next week, or what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, as far as this report goes, I'm not really sure if anything that they said here really would be enough to convince any of the the fund traders that they need to go long. I think it might be more of a technical short covering rally if you see one here more so than the actual fundamental news right now. Uh, looking at the technical side of both corn and soybeans, this will be your second day in a row. And most likely we have to see how the market closes, of course, but most likely your second day in a row closing above the 20 period moving average, which we haven't done that since back around Christmas time. And so I think some of that technical stuff might be what our fund traders are watching at the moment here, more so than this report. I, I, I joked with some people five minutes after the report came out that it's old news already. Yeah, it appears that way. The market re really never took off or did much with it. It kind of just bounced around a couple of cents here and there, but nothing crazy. Um, anything else, I guess, Vince, before we end this one that you saw that stood out? Uh, no, the wheat, as you noted on the wheat in there, um, we did, they did lower U.S. wheat exports by 15 million bushels. Uh, otherwise, nothing changed. Uh, like the corn, they dropped the average annual price by a nickel. But otherwise, really nothing out there of any significance. It's more of a, I think, a psychology situation of what do you close at, as Andrew noted? Do you close higher or close lower? And I think that'll make a difference. If you close higher, there's probably some people in here that might want to exit. And if you don't, you're right up against some areas. I think if I'm a producer that's got corn to sell and you get that May at 442 to 446, you maybe got to be moving some in there. Again, the, the bean side, a little tougher on that one. Um, you know, moving average, that 20 period moving average in that May 1167 and a quarter. Could you run this thing maybe to 12, 1190 to 1208 possibly? And that would be a place if you need to move something short term in that May. I think that's going to do it for this WASD report. If we could be of any further assistance to you at Farmers Trading Company, give us a call. Our number is 605-996-6500. And feel free to check out our website, farmerstradingco.com, for more information. Thank you.